Hey guys, so for today's video I created this more neutrally look and I used the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I also filmed this whole eyeshadow look unedited, so you are seeing every second of me doing this eyeshadow look. You're seeing how many times I dip back into a shade, how long it actually takes me to blend out the eyeshadow, and how long it really took me to do this entire eye look. I've only done this type of video once in the past, but you guys seem to really like it, so if you want to see more of these unedited tutorials, please let me know. But before we get into this eyeshadow look, this video is kindly sponsored by Native. So I've been wearing Native deodorant for a little over a year now and I love getting to work with them because it's so nice to work with a company that I genuinely love and a product that I use every single day. So if you haven't heard of Native, they make staple products that we all use daily such as deodorant, body wash, and soap that are clean and cruelty free. And today we are talking about their plastic free deodorant. These deodorants are aluminum free, paraben free, vegan, and cruelty free. The plastic free deodorant is the same exact formula as the regular one, just this one is 100% plastic free and recyclable. So I have a couple scents here to share with you. So first we have lilac and white tea and you just take off the cover and you push up the deodorant and that's how it comes out. This one is a very fresh and just pretty floral scent because of the lilac. And then we have the lavender and rose. I've been really into lavender recently. Oh, and this one's just so refreshing. You really can smell the lavender and the rose in it. And this last one I think is my new favorite. It's the citrus and herbal musk. Guys, this one smells like Mm, a sexy man. So as you can see, they have so many fun scents to choose from and they actually just came out with their new candy shop collection. I didn't get a chance to try these, but they have candy scents such as gummy bears, sour berry belts, and sweet cinnamon hearts. I would totally try the gummy bear one. So if you want to check out Native and some plastic free deodorants, my code BRIGHT3 will get you three plastic free deodorants for only $26. That's normally $39, so that's a $13 savings, which I think is really good. And with my code, you can also to get 20% off any body wash or lotion. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this part of the video. Now let's get into this full eyeshadow tutorial. All right, let's get started with this unedited eyeshadow tutorial. These are tricky for me to film. This is only the second one I've done before. And it's because I move my head in and out of frame as I'm doing my makeup. So I'm gonna do my best to keep my head in place and show you every single step of doing this makeup. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. And this is my favorite eyeshadow primer if you've been watching me for a while now. Oh, I did want to mention I'm filming, I did want to mention I'm trying to film a reel at the same time as I'm filming this. So if I'm like, if you hear my phone camera or I'm leaning out, that's what I'm clicking on. Okay, I always make sure I get the outer corner really well because sometimes I miss this area. And then taking my Sigma F64 and blending that out. And whenever I use Natasha Denona shadows, I do not set them. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, how did I learn that? I just kind of figured it out with trial and error. Like, sometimes I would set the primer, sometimes I wouldn't when I use this palette. And I also found that, like, padding motions work best with her shadow. So sometimes you just got to play around with formulas and see what works best. Because not every... Because not, hmm, how do I say this? Not every technique will work with every palette. Does that make sense? Also, sorry if I stumble over any sentences. That will happen. Yay. Okay. So I don't think I said this yet, but today's tutorial is inspired by Patty Alonzo. I was just looking at some other videos of this palette, get some inspiration, and she did a five tutorials, hmm, five looks, one palette, right? Five? Five looks in one video video and I think it was her first or second look she used all of like the taupey shades in this palette and I haven't done that yet so I want to kind of dig into these ones over here none of the greens none of the pinks today we're gonna stay pretty neutral so I need the Sigma E28 that is a 25 do I have a clean 28? I do. Love this brush. Also, my hands are so orange right now. I know. Don't tell me. Sip of water. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Lucy on this brush. And I pick some up. I tap it off. So it looks like that. And I'll scoot up a little bit. And I'm just gonna press that kind of all around my crease area. 
So I love this E28 brush because it's kind of like a blending brush, but the shape is a little different than the E25. It's hard for me to explain, but this brush is better at packing on shadow without like packing on too much shadow, if that makes sense. Okay, I have to remember to keep my head in frame. This is the tricky part for me. This looks kind of grayish, doesn't it? It's a very gray-toned brown. It's very pretty, though. Is this too bright? Is that too dark? Oh, that's, that's fine. This is a lot grayer than I thought this shade would be. I don't know if I've used this shade yet. Clearly not. Okay, now I'm going to turn on this camera to film the real part. And again, going in with Lucy. I guess I should tell you guys like how many times I pick up a product as well. Dipping in again, tapping off. And I think this is gonna be a pretty simple eye look. Nothing too crazy. I want this video to be like very realistic, you know, with a look that a lot of you guys would wear. Picking up one more time, apparently. I don't even like realize myself doing it, but my brain's like, you need more shadow. Add more shadow. Okay, I'm liking how that looks. Now let's take this shade, Faye, on the same brush. Turn off this video and picking up some shadow, tapping it off. I think I want this packed on kind of the outer half of the lid. These shades are much grayer than I thought. They look, do these look brown or taupey to you? I guess they are kind of like, isn't that what taupe is? Like right in between a brown and a gray? I don't know. It's very pretty though. Dipping in again. I think this is the third time. Okay, I like that. Picking up again. I kind of do like a, oops, I go like one, two, three, tap off, is how I'm picking up this shadow. These are just things like I never really talk about in my videos, you know, so that's why these unedited videos are nice, because I have to show you literally everything I'm doing. <laughs> this looks so gray. I did not think these shades were this gray. I remember last time I filmed an unedited video, well actually it was my first and only other <laughs> unedited video, I had a clock in my makeup room and people were like, all we can hear is the clock ticking as I'm just like silently blending and I thought that was really funny. So um, I think I ended up taking the batteries out of that clock. I still have it, don't I? Yeah, I do. Just the batteries are out. Um, I'm gonna go back to that lighter shade Lucy again on the same exact brush. And, oh, this is still recording. I'm going to place this kind of in the center of my lid to help blend around that deeper shade. I think Patty's version of this look was a lot softer than mine. I just kind of have a heavy hand with eyeshadows. I like to do, I would say, pretty intense looks, you know? Like, I like you to be able to see, like, oh, she's wearing shadow, you know? I just love eyeshadow. Simple as that. 
Okay, now I need to work on blending these edges. See how it looks harsh? So, I'm gonna take a foundation powder for this. I'm using the Urban Decay, the Fix Powder. The shade is 20 CP. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush for this. I'm gonna use a Sigma E33 with that powder. I'm just gonna like get it on the tip of the brush here. Tap off the excess and start to blend around this harsh edge. How are we looking? I always like to get up close to a mirror to see how my eyeshadow looks and that's why my head will go in and out of frame. So I'm like holding this mirror really close to me so I can really see the blend. Okay, see how that looks much better than this eye. Just a smoother blend. And same thing. The nice thing about these videos too is like sometimes I don't realize how long an eye look actually takes me. So right now I'm at 10 minutes solid and I'm like already done most of the blending for this look. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm going to go back with that Lucy shade, the lighter one on the same brush. And I kind of want to wing out the shadow just a little bit. So I'm only picking up a tiny bit of shadow. Just gonna like, I almost said whisk. What is the word I'm looking for? Wisp, maybe? Wisp this eyeshadow. Gosh, I'm terrible at explaining things. <laughs> Did that really do anything? Mm, a tiny bit, but I'm gonna do it on the other side. Even if I don't like what I did on one side of my eye, I always repeat it on the other side or else you're gonna have two totally different looking eyes. Even if they look bad, you know? Okay. Now I think I wanna add a little more of that deeper one. Or should I just go with the shimmer? Mm, let's do the shimmer part first. So, I'm gonna take Oscar on my finger and we are going to record this part. And this is gonna go on the inner half of my lid. I think I used this shade before, didn't I? Oh, I like this one. If I'm really quiet, it's because I'm filming the reel. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. So I did dip in twice to this shade. And I'm kind of pulling it like almost to my outer corner. Oh, I love that. Okay, stopping that video. And back to this one. Maybe it just looked really brown in Patty's video. Like, I don't know why mine looks so gray. Maybe it's just her lighting or we both have different lightings, I guess. This just looks so great to me. Do these shades pull great on me? I have so many questions. Um, okay. I don't know how I feel right now. Like, I like it, but I don't at the same time. I kind of want to add Maxi this deeper shade right here. 
why not? Let's let's mess around a little bit. So, actually, let me swatch this really quick because apparently these shades are not doing what I think they should. Oh no, that's good. That's like a that looks taupe, right? Or is that gray? Unsure. So I'm gonna take Maxi on a Sigma E54. Do I want to spray my brush? No, I'm okay. And let's try to deepen up the outer corner right out here. See if this does anything. Did that deepen it up? A tiny bit, okay. Again, always do the same thing on the other eye, even if you don't like what you did. This makes me wanna do like a black smoky liner. Wouldn't that be pretty? We'll see, we'll see. You guys want to know something, a fun fact about me? I am turning into a Spotify user, finally. And it's like a big deal for me because I've been using Pandora and Apple Music for the last couple of years. And my boyfriend's like, you need to get on Spotify. Like, here's why it's so amazing. So literally January 1st, I downloaded Spotify and I was like, I'm going to be a Spotify bitch now. So here we are. I've been listening to so much Fletcher. I love her so much. She was in the, uh, she did the New York, New York. She did the New Year's Eve show with Miley Cyrus. And so now she's kind of like getting a lot of attention. I'm very excited for her. That's really cool. Um, but Fletcher, I love her. Oh, I didn't see what I was doing. I'm so sorry. This is my problem. Um, I'm taking more Maxi on the E28. I'm so sorry. I didn't say what I was doing got distracted talking about music and Spotify. Okay, I do like the look better now that I've added this maxi shadow. So that is good and we're at 15 minutes. This is taking longer than I thought, to be honest. So now I'm just kind of checking the blend and by that I mean like this spot right here. I think I do, I'm gonna again, again I'm gonna go back to that E33 with Lucy. And it's not too harsh right here, but I just want a little blend. Am I recording on my phone? Did I record that last part? I don't think I did. Whoops. Okay, this is better. Getting somewhere now. I think the best step will be is when I add that flutter shade. So maybe I'll do that now instead of at the end. Anyways, I have a Taylor Swift song stuck in my head. I get the most random song stuck in my head. It's so annoying. Like, even if I haven't heard it for freaking years, it's just like playing. And I'm like, where did this come from? Currently, it's Taylor Swift. Is it Bye Bye Baby? Bye Bye. Da, 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 da. Mm hmm. Okay. I like that. Let's add Flutter. So I'm going to take this guy on my finger. And I'm going to focus this on the inner part of my inner lid. So kind of going on top of that Oscar shade. So it goes from like Flutter to Oscar to the deeper colors. Ooh, I like that. That brightened it up nicely. I should record this on my phone. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I did two layers of this, so two layers of flutter. This sounds like a recipe. Two cups of flutter on the inner corner of your lid. Oh my gosh. I'm in a weird mood today, I'm sorry. This is pretty. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna stop this and 
I think I'll do liner last. So I'm going to go do my face makeup off camera. That is not the point of this video. We just want to see the eyes today. So I'm going to do my face. I'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line and finish everything up together. All right, my face makeup is done and I am way too bronzed right now. I used way too dark of a bronzer, but let's finish up the lower lash line. So I need a small brush. Kind of want to do a little shimmer on the lower lash line. Sounds fun. So I'm going to take Oscar on a Sigma E21. Yeah, let's do that. See what this does. Is this too bright? Is this too dark? You see my problem here? Okay. Well, recording. Yep. Oscar is going to go along my entire lower lash line. Sometimes I like a shimmer on the lower lash line. It just kind of f adds like a little fun effect. Makes things more exciting. I think in Patty's video she added an eyeliner. I probably will. Like, that's barely showing up on its own. Yeah, like that's pretty, but I need a little bit more since my outer corners are so dark. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Mushroom. I've been loving this color so much. It actually thinks, and I think this will go nice with this look. So let's run this just kind of like in between my lower lashes, kind of in my waterline, kind of all over the place. Hard to do this while I'm talking. Smudging, I'm smudging, I'm smudging. Okay, so that's just the liner. I'm gonna take that brush, nothing else on it. Just kind of smudge around that liner. Ooh, I like this a lot. What are your guys' favorite pencil liners? I would love to know. Like, the Urban Decay ones are good, but is there anything better out there? I also own way too many eyeliners, which you will see in my makeup inventory next week. Guys, I counted the amount of black eyeliners I had last night. Very disappointing. You'll find out later. Okay, I like that. So let's just start with the eyeliner on this eye. I need to record this on my phone. Okie dokie. And we're going to smudge this out, but I need to be in frame for my reel. I feel like I'm kind of into green eyeshadow right now. This look, I feel like it's pulling green on me now. Or am I just seeing all these random colors? I really like this eyeliner with this. This is making me happy. Okay, so that's just the eyeliner. Now I'm going to pick up Oscar. Same exact brush and just add that on top. That's really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more liner. Sorry, you can't see me. Okay. And then let me make sure I have this part for my reel. Okay. Where's that E33 I was using? Perfect. I'm going to take that E33 with a tiny bit of Lucy. I keep, feel like I keep going back to the shade. A little bit, like just on tip of the brush. And I'm just going to lightly blend out the lower lash line. Just a little back and forth, nothing too crazy. It's also not too harsh down here, so... We're all good. Okay. Stop that video. And back to this. We're blending, we're blending. Again, I'm looking at my eyes close up. Making sure my lids look pretty even, that the shape looks even on both eyes. Mm, 
to feel good about that. I need a highlighter. I don't want to use Flutter though because it's a little too, too much. So I'm going to use the one I used on my face. It's like an eyelash in my eye. Um, going to take a Sigma E30 with the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten. And, boop. Oh yeah, I wanted like a really white looking highlighter to record this. These highlighters are so intense. And I'm gonna do the tiniest bit under my eyebrow. Boop. Okay. Just double check that blend. That looks good. This is now the point where I would usually add highlighter on my nose. I know some people like absolutely hate this. I don't care. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do some half lashes. Obviously, I love my half lashes. So, do I wanna do a little bit of eyeliner? I feel like I should. So let's do that. I am going to take, oh, not that brush. No, 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 no. An angled brush and my House Labs liner in black. And what I've been doing is I just kinda like pick up some on the tip of a brush like that. Kind of kind of different, right? And I just want a little bit of this on the outer part of my top lash line since I will be wearing falsies as usual. So I'm just stamping that up here. Sometimes doing eyeliners this way is easier than like drawing on the eyeliner and then smudging it out. It's just, you know, just pick it up off the tip. Why not? And I'm just going on like the outer half of my eye. I should film this. Okay, so just like that, pretty easy. Picking up some more. Sometimes I'll also rub the eyeliner on the back of my hand and pick it up that way. Just kind of depends on my mood. It's also really hard to get off the back of my hand, so sometimes I don't always do that. My right eye is always harder for me to do my liner on. I think this eye is like a millimeter longer than this eye. But this side is like more round. I don't know. It's fine. No one's eyes are perfect. <laughs> Not like in the shape of here. Okay, that's fine. I feel like I just stare into my soul a lot in my eyes. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara. And I've really been liking this one, that Hourglass Caution. Bought a little mini of it. Still loving it. It's like, it might be my new favorite right now. I look so orange. I used the wrong bronzer today. Okay, a little bit of mascara. See how that just like nicely coats them?
Sorry, it's so quiet right now. You really can't talk when you're doing mascara. I think that's just a rule. See, look at that. So good. My left lashes are always better than my right ones. Can you hear that dog barking? Sorry. Okay, I feel good about that. Now, oh, sponge, where you go? No, no, no. All right, I'm going to use the Bright Lashes in Flutter, of course. <laughs> and these ones I've already worn before, which is kind of nice. I feel like lashes are the best when you wear them a second time. Like the first time the band's like a little too fresh, a little too new, but the second time is like perfect. So I'm just kind of picking off any glue on here. Sorry, this is boring. That looks fine to me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm holding the lash and applying some glue. Okay, so I have like that much glue on the band. Let it get tacky for like 30 seconds. And in the meantime, I kind of put things away on my desk because I suck at cleaning up my desk. It will get so messy so fast. Do I use that? Okay, I'm going to kind of flex the band a little bit. Wait, let's just drop that palette. Open, there we go. All right, and I'm gonna look down into my mirror, pop on this lash. It was on my finger right now. have this one lash that does not grow up with the other so sometimes I pull it or I just like get the mascara off of it <laughs> oh I love flutter all right get the other lash ready pick off any glue There we are, and continue picking up your desk, drink your water.
All right, and I like to make sure I have no mascara like on my eyelids. If I do, I just take a little reusable Q-tip. Sometimes I get mascara down here. Because by now my mascara is dry, so it's easy to just kind of flake off. You can also use like a spoolie for this step. I just like these little reusable Q-tips. Okay, this one's still drying. Okay, this is when I like check my eyebrows. My forehead is way too bronzed. <laughs> and I'm going to take my little Bright Lashes squeezy tool. Squeeze them together. Sometimes if my lashes still stick together, I like pull downwards, if that makes sense. Because you don't want to pull upwards because that will lift the lash off and that is the opposite of what you want right now okay and then my glue is still drying have another lash growing downwards All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do my lips off camera, maybe touch up my face makeup a little bit, and then we will, I will show you the completed look. So be right back. All right, I went ahead and did my lips off camera. What am I wearing? I just lost it. Oh, here it is. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in Natasha with the Tarte. This is the new Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream, and I got it in the shade Soft Rose. I bought this because you guys know I love the Maracuja Lip Plumps, like the juicy one. So I saw this lip cream and I was like, I have to try it. And it is really, really nice, super creamy, just kind of like less glossy than the pumps. The plumps? And then I am wearing a little gloss on top. I have on the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in Pistachio. I've really been liking this gloss formula. It is non-sticky, so creamy. Love the color. It's not too pigmented. Like this has slowly become a favorite. Everything else on my face I will list and link down below for you. But let's talk about this eye look really quick. This did not turn out as taupey as it looked on Patty Alonzo. This look pulled so gray on me where I really thought it would look a little more taupey like it did on her. But I'm not mad about this. This is definitely a pretty look. And, and I like that I was able to get something a little more neutral out of this palette. Because you look at this and this might be a little scary to you. But this look is very pretty and wearable. You could kind of glam it up a little bit more. I could totally wear it to work if you wanted to. Wear this wherever you want, you know? But if you used these shades in the palette, did it pull more taupe or gray on you? I would love to know. I hope I did a good job doing the whole unedited thing. Now I need to watch the footage over and post this for you guys, but it's always a little nerve wracking filming the unedited version, but I hope that was helpful for you to see everything in real time. How many times I dip back into a shade, how long it took me to blend. If you want to see more unedited eyeshadow tutorials in the future, please let me know. I would be happy to do that. Also let me know what palettes you want me to use because I'm open to using old palettes, new palettes, all the palettes. Thank you again to Native for sponsoring this video. Again, you can use my code BRIGHT3 to get three plastic-free deodorants for only $26. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.